Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me here in this session on Book Creator for Google Educator Group's Asia Pacific Weekend 6.0, the sixth time, uh, sixth time that we have done this. So uh, my name is Nate, and I'm coming at you from Google Educator Group Nagoya in Japan, but I'm actually in Canada uh, at the moment, nice and early at 8 a.m., um, we've got, uh, for this weekend, a whole pile of different, uh, sessions going on. Look, my glasses are all messed up here. Whole pile of different sessions in different languages, uh, with the theme of celebrating student learning, which really is like pretty much anything under the sun. Um, and I thought book creator is a good, uh, tool to share with you when we think about student learning and what, what are the cool things that they're going to do. Um, before we kick off though, um, uh, just, uh, I'll let you know that, uh, uh I am going to do a very brief, very quick demo here with book creator today. Uh, I am going to share a code with you where you can go in and you can kind of play around if you want, you will have to create a book creator account in order to do that, but you'll be able to play with all the features. Um, uh, I also will post at the end of the session, a, uh, which is going to be about 30 to 45 minutes kind of thing. I have another session coming up after that. Um, uh, I will post a certificate. So if you participate, if you watch this throughout, then uh, I'll post a link in the comments where you can uh, do an auto-generated certificate and have that certificate emailed to you so you can show your uh, head of school or your administrators that you have done some professional development on your own time. Um, please put your questions and comments in the chat or in the, in the comments here on YouTube, uh, whether you're watching live or later on, because I can come back and have a look at those as well. Um, and uh, have a look at the, you can see on the, the little banner going across the bottom there, the GEG APAC Connect uh, Google site. Hey, Sudeepta, thanks for joining. Just about to give you a shout out. Um, uh, if you go to Google search and you just type in GEG APAC, uh, you're going you're gonna to see us pop up. And then you'll see the different uh, Google educator groups around Asia Pacific and links to their GEGs. And uh, you can find your, your local, you know, GEG and what kind of activities they're doing and things like that. And, of course, a uh, big shout out to first uh, uh, um, Sangeeta Gulati, who uh, kind of brought the, the group together here for this event. And especially Sudeepta Chatterjee, who is with GEG Kolkata that you can just see posted in the comments there. Uh, she has been instrumental in making the English language version of this actually go off. So without further ado, I want to share my screen get my head like really close to you here. Um, and I'm gonna share with you a uh, book creator. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna share my entire screen actually just to make things nice and easy. And I will point out as well that for those of you that are interested in book creator, if you do like this session and you think, oh, I wanna try that, I wanna do it. Um, from July 18th, the new Book Creator Certified Author Program is going to be launched. Um, so, so have a look for that. Um, there, there is a link that you can access at the end of this slide deck. I will share this slide deck with you later. Um, but hey, why not get Book Creator Certified? And um, if, if you're waiting, uh, or sorry, not well, while you're waiting, post in the chat where you're, uh, where you're coming from if you are watching this in real time. I know we got a few people here. Um, but I've got my phone going. If you have any questions, I'll be able to answer them. And, uh, uh, you know, if you can, please tell us where you're from. And if you're using Book Creator, how are you using it? Um, so I'm not going to read through this. You could read this later. But basically, Book Creator is a multimedia um, tool that uh, basically you can create books, magazines, um, portfolios, journals, you, you name it. Um, you're, you're only limited uh, by your creativity, really, and your own imagination, right? Um, but you can embed text and audio and video, and uh, you can use it with a browser. You can use it with a tablet or an iPad. It's really user-friendly. Um, it's great for uh, even elementary students uh, at the younger grades. So I encourage you, uh, you know, play around with it and, uh, you know, create your own stuff and then for your students and inspire them to create their own stuff. Uh, so for today, we're going to talk a little bit about digital storytelling. Uh, then I'm going to show you some examples of uh, Book Creator and, uh, and then uh, I'm going to give you a chance to kind of play around with, uh, with a code uh, so you can play with your own book, actually. A couple of tips here. Every time I make something a book creator, and some of my books are really long. I've, I've got books that are like 50, 60 pages. Um, know your intentions. Do you want a textbook? Do you want to use it for a lesson plan? Is it for an activity? Really have an idea of what you want to uh, do. That way it'll speed up or, and help keep you focused on what you're creating. Plan ahead. 
I always get my text ready, my images ready, any video I want to use. Uh, if I'm recording myself directly within the app, then, uh, you know, I have my script ready. Uh, quizzes, any other multimedia that you want to link to your books, uh, go with it. Um, get it ready ahead of time. And, and I would say, too, know your style. I've got kind of a style that I like to use. Um, it's not too generic, but it's not too uh, – I, I just – it's it's kind of my, my format that I, I, I kind of use. All right, so first a little bit about me. My name is Nate Gildart. I teach at Nagoya International School in Japan. Uh, I am a diploma program history teacher, which is why all these samples you're going to see are pretty much – History or Individuals and Societies, which is kind of like the IB uh, social studies, you know. Um, so uh, I, I am a head of department. Um, I am a book creator ambassador as well. I love sharing uh, book creator. And I do a whole pile of other stuff that you can kind of, uh, you can read about a little bit later. Um, so here we go. First, I want to show you a whole pile of, of examples of um, how I'm using this. Now, I'm not going to show you every single thing and everything in it. But if you're watching this, uh, this broadcast or if you're watching it later on, I'm going to show you a few examples of things that you might use in high school or maybe even university uh, and then things maybe in an elementary school. So uh, first, let's go with the story of Christmas. I like using uh, holidays in that. Um, here, this read now, actually, I'll point out while we're in here, this where it says read now. Uh, it, it'll actually read it for you, right? You can, you can, uh, Book Creator understands like uh, over 120 different languages, um, which you can use and, uh, you know, to type, for example, and create your books, but also you can have, uh, have it read. Now, this here says read now. That means you're going to, you know, read the book as it is. But if you notice up here, it says read to me. That's where you can get the book read to you. It is still that kind of computer sounding voice, but it's still pretty cool. And here as well, where it says remix this book. Well, that means that other people with a book creator account can make a copy of it and then they can uh, modify it. And, and, and I allow my books to be remixed because you might have a, a teacher that says, this is great, I wanna use it, but the level's too advanced for my students. So that teacher can copy the book and then they can modify it to what in a more age appropriate level. Um, that does not change your book. It just makes a copy for them. I think that's a pretty cool feature. Um, so I'm going to click on read now. All right. So I always like to start with a nice cover page. Um, again, you can make like magazines. That it's not all landscape. It could be portrait. Um, it can be comic books. There's different things. We'll go over that a little bit later. But here you can see that um, I've put, uh, you know, like I've got video in here. If I click on that, the video pops up. Right, so you can embed video. Notice I've got uh, images here. There are Thomas Nast right there, which is pretty, uh, pretty famous. Uh, always cite your work, right, when you're doing this kind of stuff. Um, so you can kind of see it. It, it kind of looks like a book, except it's digital and online, and you can put uh, uh, images and videos. Now, I'm going to come right to the end here so I can show you that I like to embed things, right? I like to put in... Um, uh, you know, like a enriched learning kind of stuff. So I have an escape room. So if you tap on that, here's an escape room that students can play with. Um, I've got this open for anybody to uh, to, to use. Um, here's a podcast that I got, uh, you know, History Extra. So there's Christmas, everything you need to know. Um, let's see. And again, a few other links. I've got Quizlet flashcards, Kahoot. Um, here I've got a quiz show. You can either play this uh, as it is or go into a new window. I've made this with flippity.net where uh, Minakshi is going to be presenting on a little bit later today. Check that out if you want to know how to make one of these. Uh, check out Flippity and you'll learn how to do uh, how to use Flippity a little bit later. And of course, I have all my works cited, uh, you know, or my, my sources in here. Uh, so that's the story of Christmas. Let me pop back here. Here's one that, uh, you know, if you teach at a, an upper level, you might want to be a little bit more serious, a little bit more formal. Um, maybe I could get a table of contents in here at some point. This is still slightly a work in progress, but, um, you know, African-American communities destroyed by white neighbors. This is, a, you know, a kind of a heavyweight, very text heavy, as you can see, uh, uh, read. Um, so I would use this for uh, an upper grade. Uh, let's... Uh, Here's one for class activities, teaching the French Revolution, right? Um, so here, notice I've got activity written there. And I've got the pages very clear because I use this for my students and kind of go through it with them as they use the book with uh, Google Doc. 
Uh, let's see. No questions in there, but if you do have questions, go for it. Um, but you, anyway, you can see how this can be used also for uh, class activities. And like I said, with a Google Doc, then I've got, um, you know, work for students uh, to do within class with an activity. And again, I still have video embedded. Uh, this is where we get into talking about our assignment, right? And this is how they can analyze political cartoons. And I'm going to show you uh, how they did that on Book Creator in just a few minutes. Um, note here, too, I've got uh, for that assignment here, I've got I've just decided to throw in uh, questions for their cartoon analysis and uh, the techniques that are used for cartoon analysis. I've got other sources for that, but uh, I thought, why not just throw it in Book Creator right there? Uh, and you can access this a little bit later on to see... Um, uh, you know, kind of see how I'm using it. Uh, societies where women rule. This is one that was created, look, 5,000 reads, right? Uh, that, you know, this person uh, created. So, man, from 2018 and five years, four years, that's pretty cool, right? Um, and you can go through and find other people's books as well. Um, let's see, here's one from elementary school. It's pretty cool. I show character when. This is a grade three class. Uh, you're not going to hear the audio here, but um, uh, so this is, uh, you know, grade three kids thinking I show character when and, and this has their voices. Now, you won't hear this because I'm not sharing a Chrome tab. I'm sharing a window. But trust me. Right. You'll uh, you'll you'll hear their voices. So check that out when I share the slide uh, presentation later. Um, here are um, some sample books of students in my own school where they had MYP, Middle Years Program, Project Week. Um, and they took photos and videos of the students over a few days uh, doing these activities. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool stuff. Uh, and they put these books together. They were in grade seven when they did this, I believe. Grade seven, no, grade seven, I think grade seven. Um, so again, you can flip through on your own. Here's one that we did with our grade 12 students. Uh, tweeted out, uh, obviously not a lot of reads on this one, but uh, I teach at an international school. So what we had students do was take their mother tongue. Uh, and then uh, what they would do is choose their image. I had them collaborate on this with me. This is the one that I put uh, in here. Nanakorobi yaoki, fall down seven times, stand up eight. It's a Japanese proverb. Uh, um, but we've got them in Portuguese, in, in uh, Mandarin. We've got them in Spanish. So uh, and, and Korean as well. But this was a collaborative thing that we shared with our elementary students. So elementary students could learn the English version of uh, these different uh, expressions and, and, you know, in their mother tongue. Uh, and that was kind of a fun project that we did together. Um, so this is very intuitive, very user friendly. Um, here, let me show you some samples of how students used Book Creator for that French Revolution source analysis assignment. So here's one, one of our students created this and note how they did the introduction of what the, uh, the illustration was from the French Revolution. Note how that they've, they've actually used within Book Creator the drawing feature to highlight certain points of uh, certain elements of this illustration and, and the techniques used, labels, hyperbole, uh, caricature. Notice the consistency here too. This is extremely well done. They got their work cited done, the conclusion, absolutely fantastic, right? Let me just show you one more here. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's go right here. Nice dynamic cover. Um, they've decided to use the cartoon comic uh, version for this, right? And they've got their evidence explanation. I mean, this is very, very well done. A lot of detail in here. Um, you know, and look how they've they've actually cropped it. You can crop images in Book Creator directly within the app, which is very cool. All right, so we're about 15 minutes in, and I've shown you a bunch of samples here. Uh, you can look through these on your own. Let me close these up. Yep, that's where we want to be. All right, uh, now I've got a, a video here that teaches you how to do this. So first, I'm going to get you uh, oriented to logging in. And then uh, you, can, you can teach yourself how to do this later, but I will do a quick uh, demo. Big point, imagination is your only limit here, right? How-to guides, presentations, essays, you name it, right? Um, I'm not going to go through this. I think digital storytelling people generally know, but basically it's, you know, uh, online, multimedia, interactive. 
you know, you're telling stories using uh, digital tools and multimedia, right? Uh, audio, video, images, that kind of thing. I think this is important, though. Uh, best practices, right? Equity, um, honesty. If you're talking about things that you might not have so much experience with and your students as well, right? Uh, you want to make sure we represent the world and people in the world um, uh, fairly, appropriately, honestly, uh, avoiding biases and stereotypes, which is not always easy to do, uh, but we should put that in the back of our minds, right? Uh, think of your audience. You know, if you're making a book for your students in, uh, in grade five, it's not going to be as text heavy. I think this is obvious, but sometimes I get excited and I start typing a whole bunch of stuff. And then I realize I've got EAL students at my international school. So I have to be careful, right? Um, so anyway, a lot of text for older grades, little text for uh, less text for younger grades. And again, images should be appropriate. I also recommend do your research first. That way, when you make stuff, uh, it goes quickly and you don't hit the wall. Put in your citations, your credits. Uh, we have to demonstrate academic honesty. It's so important. Um, and if you have your images and videos ready, then you're going to make things really quickly. I, I recommend being consistent within one book that you might create or one magazine or whatever it is. Consistency is always more appealing and it will retain your audience's attention. Um, for teachers, um, again, uh, just very quickly, you create, um, you you can use Book Creator to, again, flip your classroom. You can show your own creativity. You can collaborate with other teachers and with your own students. Uh, there's great accessibility tools here. You can model academic honesty, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can teach students 21st century skills, basically. And students, they get that as well. They get voice. They get agency. They learn to collaborate. They, they learn those 21st century skills, you know, whether it's research or uh, consideration for your audience and thinking about your purpose and how to represent things openly and honestly and demonstrating their learning and that kind of thing, right? Um, and again, you can come back and, and read this later on your own. Uh, I think so many different skills that students learn, oral, written communication, research, critical thinking, um, creativity, problem solving, you name it, right? Okay, so I'm going to walk you through uh, how to create an account. I'm not going to, I already have my account open here. Uh, let's see, we got some comments here. So let me just quickly jump in here before we do that. Um, uh, correct says, uh, <laughs> yes, Sudita, it is very cool. And Yin, yeah, I hope you like it. Um, Mons, all right, I guess that's cool, right? <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions, throw them in there. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, you can create a free account. With Book Creator, you actually get most of the features uh, in the free account. The paid version, which is only $120 a year uh, USD, and sometimes you get like a 50% discount, actually. That's, that's where I got my account. I was like, whoa, 50% off, 60 bucks, I'm in. And with that, you get all the features, 1,000 books. And the big kicker is with a paid account, you can collaborate with other teachers and students. You can invite them into your, your account. So you can create a free account and just create your own stuff. Get your students to create their own free account. If you have a limited budget, reach out to Book Creator, though. Maybe they can help you out. Big thing to think about. Um, you have two different kinds of sign-ins. You can sign in by a student or switch to teacher, right? So you want to make sure you click on switch to teacher. It automatically goes to student, right? And I think that's to help students... Um, so that they don't get confused or forget to sign in as a student. So you're going to click on switch to teacher, choose how you're going to log in. So here's teacher sign in. And you're going to create your book creator account. Like for me, I'm using my Nathan Gildard account. So I'll just choose this one as I go in. And you're going to see in the dashboard, I'm going to walk you through this, but I will highlight that the dashboard in the top left, that little hamburger that you see, um, that, uh, Let's see, is, oh my God, Rafi, that's my friend. Hey, way cool. Um, so anyway, the, uh, the dashboard, use the hamburger. I'm going to show you what that looks like, but here you're going to see these different things. You can make new libraries. You've got your own private books, which you can make public, of course. Um, we'll go through like the different apps, but um, there are relatively new features now, Bitmoji, Giphy, uh, animated GIFs, and integration with Canva, which is cool. All right. Uh, later on, when you get this uh, uh, slide deck linked um, book creator certified author, you can get level one, level two, and, uh, and then eventually become a book creator ambassador if you really get into it. But now it is time to uh, show you the demo. 
And I'm going to do this probably for about 20 minutes or so. Um, but now here's the thing. I recommend that you kind of follow along with me right now, but do a quick screenshot or write this down. I'm going to give you a moment to write this down. Um, with this code, all uppercase, uh, you, can, you can go in and create your own book. You can play around uh, after this session. So go ahead and get a pen or take out your phone. Or if you can, you know, like do a screen grab. MJ9HR9B. And this will give you access to a library that, um, that, you, can, uh, that you can use. And in fact, I think what I'm going to do is post it right here mj9 h r 9 b okay and i've just put that in the chat or in the comments there uh jump in and play around with that i'm going to take that code out at some point in time but um go ahead and play around uh um after this session okay um i'm not going to go through that this is more like a uh, when I do this face-to-face, -face, or not face-to-face, -face, but when we're uh, uh, in a private kind of uh, environment. So let me, let me go in here. Now, here I am all logged in, okay? And here's that hamburger I was telling you about, right? This is your, uh, the dashboard. So if you look here, here's the Discover tab. And you notice here that you've got like high school, middle school, elementary school, these are different levels of books that you might want to check out. And if you scroll down, uh, then you can go by subject as well, right? Social studies, creative arts, uh, spec ed kind of thing. Um, so you can look and see what already has been made. And these are all ones that you are remixed. So you can make copies of, uh, if you click on learn, this is where you can go and you can, uh, you know, learn how to use book creator a little bit more effectively here. If you want to look at the certified author course, you can click here. And, and again, it only takes, like it says, a couple hours. It doesn't take that long to get that, uh, that Book Creator Certified Author badge. And here is the new uh, course, right? So I'm going to be doing this uh, very soon myself, right? Um, if you're a certified author and you want to renew, time to renew. So I'm going to have to be doing that myself, right? Um, anyway, click on the Apps tab. And here are the different apps. And they keep adding to this and, and stuff like that, right? So... Let me just kind of close this up though. And if I click here, you'll notice here that uh, I can add other authors and things like that, okay? So I've got a book here that I've started. Normally what I would do is show the invite code here. Um, and you know that's the code that you've just uh, written down. Let me just double check, make sure no questions here, groovy. So if I want to, uh, for example, uh, let me just go with the gear wheel here. Um, so here is one view. I usually use this view actually with my books because right here I can see my, uh, my little icons really quickly. I can either read it quick or I can choose to publish it online, collaborate. You can download any of these books as an ebook, by the way. Um, it, it turns it into a PDF uh, file, which is pretty cool. And if you use this other icon in the bottom left, you can import another book. So you can actually add books together, which is kind of cool. You can blend them. See that combined books. You can bring a book from somewhere else into this whole library as well. Um, and you can make copies of it. If you've got a book that, let's say you have two different levels, um, you want to make a, a, an EAL version of something that you create for other students. Well, you can do it, which is pretty cool. Um, but what I want to do is go here to create a new book. All right. So I'm going to click here, new book. And if you notice here at the top, we got templates, right? So I can click on templates and, you know, I, I've got a, just scroll through and see. You got themes. Uh, you know, do you want to make a newspaper, which is kind of cool, a magazine, maybe a textbook. Remember, you know, you might want to use Book Creator to create your own digital textbook for a mini course that you're doing or something like that, right? Uh, looks totally pro. And again, there's different themes. So, you know, I encourage you to play around with this. Um, I always go with blank books. Note here that you can create a square. Let's say you're making something for Instagram or social media. Um, there you go. Um, you know, you might want to choose the square. Um, I usually go with landscape. For my younger students in grade eight and nine, I use um, the comic version more often than not. Um, but you could do the portrait version if you prefer, you know, making a magazine or something like that. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with the blank one and I'm going to choose landscape. All right. And I'm going to show you a couple of uh, different things here. All right. So it really is quite simple to create a book. Let me look at the time. 25 minutes in. We're doing marvelously. Okay. Sorry. I got to get my coffee going. It's morning in Canada right now. Now, what I like to do is usually start with some kind of background. Um, so, oh, and what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to, I was traveling to Kyoto earlier uh, in the year, well, last year in, in November, I think, October. So <clears throat> I've looked at some world heritage sites that are there. I made some videos and all that kind of thing. I'm going to make this go really quickly, um, but just uh, use the other one as, uh, as a sample for you. Um, now, I don't, in my new computer here, have my photos uploaded, but that's okay. Now, if I choose here, now the plus button, this is where you're going to uh, add media. The inspector is where you're going to, um, uh, you know, modify that, you know, um, whether you're editing text fonts and things like that background. So first, though, I'm going to choose uh, an image, right? And I can upload from my computer. But since I don't have any images in my new Mac here, um, I'm going to go with Kyoto, Ushimi, Inari. Um, now, I know, uh, I know this place. So I know what I'm looking for. Yeah, and I think I'm going to go with, let's see, this one. Now, I will point out that these images are all copyright free, right? They're, they, note here it says it's from Pixabay, right? So they're free to use. Um, and, uh, you know, here you've got uh, the, uh, the image attribution right there. Now, technically, you don't have to add the image attribution, but, uh, but I'm going to do that anyway. So... Now I'm going to click and drag this, right? So I want this to cover my whole page. So I'm going to do that. And notice I get my little pink uh, air lines there that kind of show me that, okay, everything is uh, uh, aligned right in the middle. And that's kind of how I want to do it. If, I'm, if, if I want to isolate something a bit more there, I'm going to do that. So now let me add some text. And the first text I'm going to add, though, is going to be that image attribution and I'm just going to delete that stuff. There we go. And I'm going to keep it at that. And highlight text and link it if you want. I'm going to click Done. And I'm going to pull it down here. Um, now, the thing is, maybe I want to add that to another page. So you know what? I'm actually going to Command X and copy that. I'm going to click on my arrow here. And so now I have a new page. Every time you click the arrow here, you're going to add a page. Uh, so I'm going to put here, going to change that to cover image. And that way I'll do my attribution right there. And I'm going to click this and drag it over. Note, if I do that, then I've got, um, I'll put that right in the middle kind of thing. Um, now I've got that. Now, now let me go back here, though. Let me add some text and I'll show you a few other things. Now, uh, here I've got, let's see if I pull that up. No, I want to make sure I cover my whole thing here. So. And let's just, okay, no more questions just yet. Now, I want to keep this in place. I don't want it to move around. I'm curious how it's going to look, though. Where is, where is that in the middle? Um, you see I've got my spine here on the left side. I kind of like that. So let me go back up here to the top left, and I'm going to click Edit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I just noticed, though, that I haven't given this a title yet. So nah, I'm going to change that later, though. So let me go add. I'm going to choose text again. And let me go back here to the majestic city of Kyoto. And let me paste that in. And I'm going to bold it. And I'm going to click Done. And now I'm going to go up here to my inspector, top right. And I click on that, and I'm going to change the color. And I think white is what we're looking for here definitely white. Uh, I'm going to add a shadow to it. So I encourage you to just kind of play around with these things. Um, let's see. I don't like the open sun font for this. I'm going to get a little bit more professional looking. Maybe cabin. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Let me go back. I'm going to change the size. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe we'll go with 40. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger. The Majesty of Kyoto. Uh, let's see. I don't need columns. Don't want that in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of stop. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to. There, I kind of like that. That's a little bit better. 
And let me put, you notice I've got my X and Y axes. You know, you can use that to kind of give you an idea of where you want to place things. Let's go with 65 and 50. Uh, and now I'm going to right click and I'm going to lock this. So now I can't move it, right? Now the paper, the page I can move. Oh, I've moved it. But if I go Command Z on a Mac, uh, not sure what you do on a PC, you can... Uh, you can undo what you've done. But here, let's see how that's gonna look. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool, right? I see my, my, my lantern right there. And I'm gonna go back and click edit. And so I'm gonna add some more text. I'm gonna put uh, an ancient city. I don't wanna capitalize it though. So I'm just gonna type that in. I'm gonna go with text. I'm gonna put an ancient city. Ooh, let's just go in Agent City. I'm going to click Done. And I'm going to take that down. And you're going to see that it aligns with this, right? Isn't that nice? Go to my inspector. I'm going to make that white again. Uh, I could just copy this if I want, actually. Um, let me go to Cabin. Maybe I'll use a different font just to make it uh, a little bit more, a little bit more creative. I'm going to go with the shadow, though. And I'm going to increase the font just a bit. Yeah, I'll go with 24. And I'm going to right click. Um, actually, I can lock it right here. I don't always have to right click. So I'm going to lock that. And uh, you know what? I'm going to right click and unlock it because I want to move that up just a little bit. Yeah, there. Let me, whoops. Right click and lock that again. Uh, and you can move things around like front, back, and that kind of thing. 8.30, good, we're making decent time. So let's see how that's gonna look. Um, I like that, it looks kind of professional. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool. Let me put my coffee mug uh, away here. So I'm not gonna uh, be tempted to uh, keep drinking the coffee, it's all done. All right, so I think that's a good looking um, page now. Now for the next bit, I just want to kind of uh, play around a little just to show you some of the different features. Uh, if this was a proper book, then, you know, I would, uh, I would be a little bit more thoughtful about how I do things. But let me click plus. Um, here, if I click shapes, uh, here's where I can put in, you know, like, uh, well, actually, you know what? Let me delete that. And I'm just going to lock this cover image. Uh, no, I'm going to keep it there. Let me, let me add a background. I'm going to add an image here. And I'm going to put um, do, 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 where, where? Go with King Kaku G. Yeah, the Golden Pavilion. Oh, that looks beautiful. Let's go with that one. And I'm going to highlight that just so I can add my, note how I can just copy and paste that real quick. And then uh, I can add my citation. And if I don't like all that text, I can change it later too, right? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to move it to the back and I'm going to lock it in place. And now I've got this. And what I'm going to do, uh, let me drag that and I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to paste. So image found on this page. All right, so cover image. Yeah, that looks okay. Uh, I'm going to click done, but I'm going to go to my inspector. In fact, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to put Pixabay. And I'm going to double click that. And I'm going to save the link. This one's from Pixabay as well. And I'm going to double click and I'm going to add the link there. Save that. I'm going to click done, but you can't see those very well. So I'm going to go to my inspector and let's see. And I want to put that in a place where they're going to be easier to see. Now, unfortunately, I'm not getting my Pixabay thing in there. So let's see. Do, do, do. I want to keep this as pro looking as possible. Hey, you get the idea, though, right? Let me go to the inspector, though. And the links, I'm not going to be able to change the color on them. So I'm going to bold them so they stand out just a little bit bigger. Yeah, and whoops, let me go back into the inspector though and see if I can 
change the color of the links now we're not going to be able to do that so what i do is go in and kind of change that up just a little bit but for now i'm going to lock that into place right uh, you get the idea if anything i might just change the image so that uh, these stand out like a little bit more um hey takuo one of the geg nagoya leaders great to see you man great to see you um what i'm going to do is add some text here now that's king kakuji so i'm going to go with this one Oh, in fact, I'm going to put my title in there too. Uh, now, here's the thing, right? You you can't really do a lot with the text in one thing. So I'm just going to kind of add this. I'm going to add text. Cancel that, actually. Go. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just going to put that in. I'm going to click done. I'm going to go to my inspector. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to add shadow like before uh, i'm gonna make it like bigger and yeah pull that over and again i might choose uh uh something that looks a little bit whoops something that's uh like the, a background image that is a little bit uh easier to uh to read text with right so let me just copy this i'm gonna add some more text boom boom Okay, I'm gonna take that and yeah, it looks all right. Just gonna make the, uh, see here, white. I'm gonna put a shadow so it stands out a little bit more. If I want, I could put background color in there. I don't really like that, so I'm gonna take none. And I'm gonna lock that into place. Now here's the deal. If I want, I can add some audio to this, right? Um, now again, it's a little bit hard to see this text. If I wanna check and see how it looks, yeah, that's, that's a bit hard to see. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to unlock that, delete that. I'm going to add an image. I'm going to put Kinkakuji. Uh, this one I think might be a little bit easier on the eyes. Maybe this one here. It's a little, uh, a little darker, right? And, of course, I would change the, uh, the image. Okay, look at that. And I'm going to pull this down here. I'm going to right click and move it to the back. Yeah, that's a lot easier to see. I'm going to lock it, right? So when I do that, yeah, it looks a lot better here. Uh, remember, I would change the uh, the image. Uh, so I'm going to click edit and go back. Now here, here's we're going to record, right? This is kind of cool. Let me, let me point out too, though, if you wanted to, uh, you could use the camera. You're going to have to allow your camera. I'm going to click take a picture, three, two, one. Let me delete that. Let me do it again. And so there I have a photo of myself pointing to Kinkakuji, just a little bit of a personalization kind of thing. I'm not going to keep that in there, of course. Um, let's go to record, though. Um, let me point out, too, you can record a video, right? Hey everyone, this is King Kakuji. I've been there. It's absolutely beautiful. The Golden Pavilion. Let me tell you a little bit of the history about this place. So I could actually use the video as a narration. Um, so let's say for students that uh, are, you know, audio learners um, or visual learners, you could put that in and All right, so you didn't hear that because I'm not in the Chrome tab version, but um, if you want, you can do the audio. Let's record audio. Hey everyone, Kinkakuji, the Temple of the Golden Pavilion, began as the villa of the aristocrat and waka poet Sayonji Kintsune during the Kamakura period. Today, it's a World Heritage Site. Okay, use the recording. And so, you know, it's got like the, the icon here. What I would do is actually put that in the same place. Let's see where, how that's going to look. Eh, it doesn't look good. Pull it over just a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. And so now people can actually click on that. And you could put background music and things like that in there if you would like. Um, so like, uh, do, 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 do. 
Taco is asking, is it possible to change the transparency of the background image? That you cannot do. So you would need another uh, editor in order to do that. Uh, that's a great question. But uh, at the moment, no, you cannot. Um, let me just uh, have a quick look, though. Let me go back to edit. Um, yeah, I'll take that out. And uh, that is a feature that I have not seen. Um, if we go to the inspector, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, yeah, with the image, uh, no, we're not going to be able to do that. And it's probably because it's copyright free, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, you'd have to do that in your own, uh, in your own time kind of thing. Note here, if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to add shapes, you know, you can, uh, put your own picture in there and then kind of, you know, change the, the dynamic, make it a little bit more playful, that kind of thing. So of course there are shapes in there, the pen. If you wanted to use a pen, you could use the tool to highlight certain things. It's got an eraser and all that. Uh, so maybe I want to do that. Okay, done. And there it is. Uh, let me undo that, though, because I don't like it. So you click remove. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, note that you can add uh, little things like happy faces. Right. Put that somewhere. Where do I want it to go? Click done. Hey, and there we go. We've got my happy face and I can kind of move that around. Maybe you want to make the happy faces the, uh, the things that you're, uh, you're showing. So uh, let's see. And again, there's GIFs and things like that. So I encourage you to kind of play around. Um, I do want to show you one more thing here, though. So let me go back to my books. So here's the one that I've just made. Um, here is where I'm going to change my title. And again, this is where I can publish it online. This is where I can collaborate by inviting people in. I click start collaboration, and then I'm going to be able to invite people in, right? So uh, this book can be edited by everyone in the library. If I click change, then I can see Yin, who is uh, Yin, who's in here uh, for the session, has joined. Um, so I'm going to click boom and... That means that now you can edit this as well. So see, there's two of us now editing this book. Um, if I want, I, again, I can import books, copy them, and things like that. Uh, if I click here, um, again, this is where I can publish it online. I'm not going to do that right now. And I can download it as an ebook. And I can click here to see what it's going to look like when people view it, right? Um, if I go to my gear wheel, um, I can change how the pages look side by side or one page at a time, right? See how that goes. It could be this way, um, but I kind of like that book feel. Uh, this is where you can highlight words and, you know, there's different settings and things that you can do. Uh, let's see here. You can maximize the page. And of course, that's good for visual, uh, visually impaired students. Um, and again, the, the audio version is good for that too. And it can be, uh, you can click read to me to have it read to you. Um, let's see. I think I've gone through pretty much everything. I mean, notice here I've moused over and this is where I can edit stuff, right? Um, notice here, this means we're collaborating on the book, that little icon right there, that little collaboration thing. Uh, here it means it's published and people are collaborating on it. Um, if I click here at the top, here, I can add other people. I could add a code teacher, which means they can do uh, pretty much anything that I can do. Um, yeah. Uh, all I had to do really is publish this book, which we're not going to do right now. So let me go back to here. And remember that uh, in the slideshow, uh, do a screenshot of this or look at the comments earlier. Uh, at one point in time, I put this in. So feel free to go in and kind of play around and create a book in the library. Uh, let me just kind of jump through here. Yeah, so um, this is actually going to conclude our session. Uh, I'm going to share this slide deck with you, and I'm going to give you the, uh, uh, the Google form where you can get your participation certificate automatically emailed to you. But please keep in touch. Uh, I'm on YouTube, working on my YouTube channel and my website. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Nathan Gildart, or you can go to SS underscore Samurai, Social Studies Samurai, or check my training website. But these are the links, but I'm going to share this presentation with you anyway. So let me just kind of copy this. Uh, also, uh, feel free to use this. And in fact, I'm going to uh, stop sharing my page in a moment. But just to let you know, this is the Google form that you're going to fill out. If you click submit, you'll automatically get a copy 
for you. So let me stop sharing my screen there. And let's go slides. Whoops. Yeah, let me click on that. So those are the slides for you, everyone. Let me get that Google form. Participant. Participant. Got to spell it right. Certificate. So if you fill out this form, you're going to get the form mailed to you. And of course, please feel free to check out the other sessions that are going on for GEG Asia Pacific, uh, GEG APAC Weekend 6.0. Um, uh, there's a lot of other stuff going on today. In fact, I'm doing Adobe Creative Cloud Express uh, in about 15 minutes. So I do have to end this. Um, but again, uh, thanks a lot for joining me and uh, reach out, uh, send me a message on Twitter uh, if you, uh, you have any questions about Book Creator. And again, their uh, certified author program and ambassador program, they're rebooting it July 18th. So in a couple of days, check that out. Uh, there are links in that slide deck. But if you just Google Book Creator, they will not let you down. So have a wonderful day, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the sessions or evening, wherever you are in the world. And we'll talk to you later. Going to end the broadcast.